Welcome back. In previous topic, we have discussed about pre-fertilization events, which includes gametogenesis and gamete transfers. We have studied how gametes are formed and how they are transferred to each other. Now it's time for the fertilization. In this video, we are going to discuss about the fertilization, which is the second step in sequence. Now the gametes are come closer to each other. So they will fuse together and this fusion is known as fertilization and both male and female gametes are haploid in nature. But do you know these fusions can take place outside the body and also inside the body? If this fusion means fertilization is taking place outside the body is known as external fertilization. And such type of fertilization can be seen in frogs and fishes. For example, the frogs or the fishes, they lay eggs in the water and the male partner will come and lay sperm over that eggs and this leads to the fertilization. So this fertilization taking place in the water and outside the female body and is known as external fertilization. Now we came to the internal fertilization. If the fertilization of male and female gamete is taking place inside the body is known as internal fertilization and this can be seen in humans, rabbits, animals etc. Now we are going to discuss about the fertilization in humans as well as in plants. Let's start with the fertilization in humans. For this we should know about the human female reproductive system. The human female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries. So after reaching a puberty stage, these ovaries release one egg per month and this egg goes to the fallopian tube and there it waits for the sperm to get fertilized. Now the sperm comes and it gets fertilized with the egg and here the fertilization takes place. This means fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube. Now this diploid zygote undergo mitotic divisions and form the embryo. Now this embryo get attached to the uterus and later on develop to become the fetus. And this fetus get completely mature in the 9 months and come out of the body. This was about the fertilization in human beings. Now we will discuss about the fertilization in case of plants. Do you know in plants there is a double fertilization? But how? Let us study. In previous topic, we have discussed about the pollination in which the male gamete transfer from the anther to the stigma of the flower. So once the pollen grains, they enter on the stigma, a pollen tube is formed. Now this pollen tube will be carrying two male gametes. Now these male gametes will move through the stigma, through the style and finally reaches the ovary. And out of two, one male gamete fuses with the female gamete. And this process is known as syngamy. And this syngamy result in the formation of diploid zygote. And now this is the turn for the second male gamete. The second male gamete fuses with the secondary nucleus which is diploid. Now the male gamete is haploid and secondary nucleus is diploid. And the fusion of both will form the triploid structure which is known as primary endosperm nucleus. And such type of fusion is known as triple fusion. It is the fusion of male gamete and secondary nucleus which is diploid. And the primary endosperm nucleus will form into the endosperm. Now this endosperm will make a nutritive tissue for the developing embryo. So this was the two fertilization in plants. One is syngamy and another is triple fusion. So this was all about the fertilization in human beings and plants. Now I have a question for you. What if there is no fertilization or syngamy? If there is no fertilization and syngamy, then the species will not able to exist on this earth. Of course, there will be the no zygote, no embryo and the species will discontinue. Do you know there are some organisms in which new organism can be developed even without fertilization? How this is possible? This is very strange. This is possible by the process of parthenogenesis in which female gamete undergo development without even undergoing fertilization. 
and this can be seen in case of rotifers, honey bees, turkey birds and some lizards etc. So here we came at the end of this session. In this session we have discussed about the fertilization and its steps. In the future video we are going to discuss about the post fertilization events means those events which takes place after fertilization. Till then keep watching Futurac.